I'll just make a quick video about a recent email from the DVSA and the people who basically conduct all the driving tests in the UK. And basically there's been a consultation about some changes they want to make to um, not how the driving test works, but more about booking the driving test and things like that. So this is from 25th January, which is yesterday. And basically it's all about they want to try and encourage you guys, learner drivers, to properly prepare before taking their test to help reduce the waiting times. As there is, of course, big backlogs at the moment, as no doubt you know. So, um, so they're saying to us instructors, maybe you don't, you know, we know you're doing all you can to get your pupils ready for tests, and only encourage them to book a test when they're ready. However, we want to prevent the learners from booking a test too early. Which is tricky, because you can't really wait for a learner to be ready for a test and book a test, so the test might then be four months away. So it's quite tricky to do this at the moment, um, with the big backlogs on tests. But these are the changes they're proposing. This isn't being confirmed yet. It's not, it's not definitely going to be happening. They're proposing these changes and seeing what people think and what um, and decide if it's going to go ahead or not. So the first one is extending the period that an unsuccessful car candidate must wait before taking another car test. So at the moment, if you fail your test, you have to wait at least 10 working days um, before you can take another one. You don't have to wait 10 working days before you can book another one. You have to wait 10 working days before you can actually take another one, if that makes sense. And they're looking to extend that quite substantially to 28 days. The idea being, if someone fails, um, they should have at least 28 days to basically make sure they've practiced more. Um, the, of course, the only tricky thing here is, sometimes people could fail because just something very, very, very minute. And then 28 days might be quite a long time to wait. But then the other thing at the moment is there's such big big backlogs, you really you can get a test within 10 days of after failing the test. But that's one of the things they're, they're proposing. The other thing is extend the period um, if you have to cancel a test without losing your fee. At the moment, if you cancel your test with at least three working days notice, you'll get your fee back. But they're wanting to extend that to 10 days so, again, to encourage people not to book the test before they're ready by saying you've got to give a lot more notice if you're going to cancel that test, is their idea. And they're also thinking about changing how the eyesight test is carried out. At the moment, they can only do tests at certain time during certain times due to light conditions. If obviously it's a bit dark, it's quite hard to be able to read the number plate. So they're looking to change the test um, to get you checking the eyesight um, by the tablet. Not all the time, I guess, but only when it's appropriate to, when the light conditions are quite poor. Not quite sure how that would work on a tablet, because um, I know looking for a tablet, it's all quite hard to sort of probably read like a number plate that's far away. You don't get the same depth of perception and such. Um, and also this would mean that driving tests might be going ahead um, more at darker times. So it might be, for example, at night time or when it's just a bit darker. So I don't know what your thoughts on that would be because for the examiners certainly be harder because they're going to find it very hard, much harder to watch the pupil and um, more carefully and see how you're doing. It's just darker, it's just a lot harder for many most, most people involved. Uh, and they're looking to introduce digital pass certificates, which kind of makes sense. Um, because they used to give you a, a paper copy of your test report. Um, now it's just done by email. And they're looking to make a digital pass certificate. So they don't have to give you a bit of paper at the end. That's probably going to go ahead more than likely. Particularly with COVID stuff where they want to probably minimise the amount of stuff they're passing to you. So that probably will go ahead. The ones prior to this are all a bit questionable really at the moment in my opinion. And next one is requiring driving instructors, approved driving instructors and trainee instructors to display their um, registration certificate. So all um, your approved driving instructor or trainee instructor must display a badge in their car whenever they're taking payment um, for the lesson. It would either be a green badge if they're fully qualified or a pink badge if they're a trainee. And for actually doing a driving test, some instructors take these out um, so there's no record because basically the DVSA look at your your instructor's badge to see how many people you take from tests that year, what your pass rate's been like, how many faults they've got, etc., etc. And they're basically here. It seems like here they're making it wants to make it a legal requirement. You must display your 
your driving instructor badge in the car, in the car window. Um, it's nothing personal, I don't have a problem because I've always displayed mine, but I know some people don't like displaying theirs on the car, they'd, they'd rather the DVSA basically don't know anything about um, how their tests are going and that sort of thing. Um, so, but that's a change that might go ahead, it might not, we'll have to see. And the final thing is finding out what information learner drivers and their families would find useful in choosing a driving instructor. So I guess here this is going to be some sort of survey they're going to do, which will probably go ahead, um, just to try and help people choose the best driving instructor for them. But yeah, I'm not really sure what that's really going to entail, because normally the best way to find a good driving instructor is go on recommendation or go by reviews normally. So I'm not really sure what this will do. So that's what they're proposing. So that's the main ones that are a bit kind of a bit unusual really are this one, extending the amount of time you have to wait after failing their test, and extending the um, cancellation period if you want to cancel a test, and doing an eyesight test on a tablet, on like an iPad. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what they say. Like, so it's being consulted, nothing's been confirmed yet. Um, so we'll just have to see what they say. Well, if they do make a decision, or when they make a decision, then um, I'll make another video and let you know if they do do any of these changes. So thanks for watching and bye for now.